This is a modern fable of the big city. It's about a swinging bachelor with a problem. His boss. I'm sorry, Peter. I believe in married executives. No marriage, no promotion. He shared this problem with his friend, a hat check girl. Too bad you can't do what I do to protect myself in this place. What's that? Pretend you're married. And did she give him an idea? Yeah. Greta, you have given me the solution to my problem. A make-believe wife. That's the answer for my boss. Peter, you must be out of your mind. No, Greta, I mean it. I want you to be my wife. Occasionally. So she went on salary as his occasional wife. And they set up housekeeping. Peter in his apartment on the seventh floor and Greta in her apartment on the ninth floor. To the lasting confusion of the fellow in between. It was a day like any other day in Peter's life, full of hopes, dreams, and anxiety. In this case, the anxiety was caused by his office rival, Wally Frick, a gifted tattletale and a dangerous backstabber. Now, I think that the spoon should be in the baby's hand. We don't even need the mother. A baby that age can't feed himself. Look, all we want to see is the baby in a can of that goop. Goop? You're calling Brahms baby food goop? I'm sure you wouldn't say that to Mr. Brahms. Well, I won't have to. I'm sure you'll tell him I said it, Wally. Now, what we should I'm see... I'm telling you a mother feeds a baby. You the boss around here, Wally? No, and neither are you. All right. Look, I'm only trying to do what Mr. Brahms said. What? Well, what, what did he say? He said he wanted simple posters. The baby, the goop, and that's all. Oh, simple posters, huh? D did he really say goop? Oh, he says that all the time. Well, on second thought, a simple poster would be more effective. I'll tell Mr. Brahms that we've decided to leave the mother out. Now, wait a minute. That was my idea. Oh, now you did it. You broke it. Oh, I didn't break it. See, it's okay. Well, you bent the club. Well, you can hardly see that, but I'm sure you'll point it out to him while... Oh, I resent that. What kind of a guy do you think I am? Good morning, boys. Good morning, Mr. Brahms. Peter broke your golf trophy. Huh? Oh, don't worry. I'll fix it. Oh. Well, how's the poster coming? The, the mother's, mother's out. Well, to keep it simple, we thought we'd just use the baby and a can of the goop. Goop? What are you calling goop? Goop? Did I say goop? I, uh, I think that's what you said. Goop. Some things we don't joke about, Wally. Sorry. In any case, I'm glad you're going with the simple layout. Well, Mr. Browns, would you like us to go ahead and... Shh, he's writing. The uh, poster will do for the puree of asparagus and the pineapple liver. Oh, here, Peter, here's your okay for the art layout. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, uh, by the way, Peter, uh, we'd like you and Greta to come up to our Connecticut place for the weekend. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ross, but I think that Greta's already made plans for the weekend. Oh, well, that's too bad. Well, I guess it's just the four of us, eh, Wally? Right. A little hunting, some fishing. I've also got a couple of ideas I'd like to talk over with you, Mr. Brahms. Good, good. That'll give us a chance to look over our new TV campaign. Too bad you can make it, Peter. Who says I can't? Oh, I thought you had plans. I'll have Greta change them. <laughs> Guess we know who's the boss in his house, eh, Wally? Well, I'm like that, too. I'm bossy. Real bossy. I'm arrogant. I'm mean. I'm even ruthless. Not me. I'm just firm and fair. And here we see Peter as the world most often sees him, climbing out on a limb. For most married couples, a weekend in the country is a marvelous idea. However, for our married couple, there's one unusual complication. Greta's boyfriend. Come on in, Bernie. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Now, come on. You've never seen my place. Well, you sure it's okay? I mean, you really want me to. I really want you to. Well, if you really want me to... I just want you to know that I'm not like a lot of guys that push their way in. You know the kind. They go out with lots of girls and go to parties and have a good time. I'm not like that. I know, Bernie. Hey, this is great. I thought you'd like it. Lots of room. What's that over there? Oh, kitchen. Nice. Nice. What's over there? Bedroom. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything no, by Bernie, that. No, Bernie, please relax. It's only a bedroom. 
See? Peter! Hi. Uh, Bernie, this is my brother, Peter. Peter, this is Bernie. Oh, yeah. I was just uh, dropping by. I saw the open window and thought I'd say hi. Well, it's nice to see you, Peter. Well, nice to see you, too, sis. So, uh, this is Bernie, huh? Right. Bernard J. Kramer. You can just call me Bernard or Bernie or Kramer or, or Fiddles, you know, when I was a kid. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm going to go. Bernie, you, you don't have to go. Now, please sit down. My brother will be leaving shortly. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I uh, just wanted to remind you about the weekend, Greta. What? Well, you know, Daddy's friends, Mr. and Mrs. Brahms, they uh, invited us up to their place for the weekend, and, well, we've got to go. Gee, I guess that means our date's off for Saturday night. No, it is not off. Bernie, you've got to learn not to let people push you around. That's okay. I understand. It's only the seventh date you've had to break. That's not too bad. Well, thanks for the coffee. I didn't have any coffee. Bernie, now you just stay right here. Brother and I are going to have a little talk. Now, what's going on? Look, Wally and his wife are going to be with Brahms this weekend, and we got to be there. What for? What for? Because Wally is out to get me. That's what for. And if I'm not there to defend myself, I'll be in the mailroom Monday morning. That's ridiculous. <laughs> you want to see the knives he stuck in me this afternoon? Huh? <laughs> Look, I really need your help, Greta. You got to do this for me. I mean, this is the reason we pretended to get married. Peter, I have my own life, and I can't break another date with Bernie. He's such a sweet guy. Look, all I need is one hour alone with Brahms. I'll give him my ideas about the TV campaign, and then uh, we'll make an excuse, and we'll come back Saturday afternoon. Well, you mean it? I mean it. And after that, boy... Wally well, won't stand a chance. All right, but I still don't understand this whole thing about Wally. He can't be that bad. Well, I didn't invite Peter and Greta. That was your big chance, Wally. Well, it's not my fault they're coming. It's never your fault. Well, I can still get Mr. Brahms alone. We'll go hunting and fishing. Peter can't stand that stuff. Are you sure you can do it? I can do it. All right. Let's start again. Do you remember all your funny stories? Yeah. Hiking story? Yeah. Tennis story? Yeah. The fishing story with the shark and the mermaid? Yeah. Clean version? Yeah. Brahms' favorite color? Blue. Mrs. Brahms' maiden name? Green. No, it's white. Green's her favorite color. Well, I'm sorry, Vera. It's not easy all to learn. Right, all this... right, all right. With basic training over, the battle approached. And into the valley of death rode Peter and Greta. <sighs> well, that was some hike. Yeah. I'm bushed. Oh, me too. <sighs> Tennis, anyone? Wally, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Wally and I believe in the outdoor life, health, education, and welfare. A good life for everyone. Well, would anybody like a cold drink? Oh, I'd love a cold. Oh, don't bother, Mrs. Brahms. I'll fix them. I believe it's a daiquiri for you, very mild, and a martini four to one for you, Mr. Brahms. Gimlets for the uh, Christophers. And just plain old orange juice for Vera and me. Vitamin C. We love it. How does he remember all that? He is remarkable, isn't he? Doesn't surprise me. Down at the office, he's just as smart. Oh, speaking of the office, Mr. Brahms, I'd like to talk to you about the uh, television campaign. Oh. Now, I, uh... Wally, hurry up with those drinks. Excuse me, Vera, do you mind? Uh, Mr. Brahms? Wally, we're absolutely dying of thirst. I thought that the local TV si uh, uh, situation would be... Oh, we're saved. Here comes Gunga Din now. How'd you make those so fast? Oh, I fixed them before we left. I can see that. Would you mind stirring mine up a little? Anyway, as I was saying, Mr. Brahms, I think that the 30-second uh, spots in the uh, metropolitan area would be all that we'd need. They're talking about the TV campaign. Get going. I have my notes in the bedroom. You would work, Tommy. All right, get your jokes ready. Well, the uh, product through my customer demand. Isn't that demand. just like men? Always talking business. <sighs> She's right. We came here to relax so, Peter, we can talk about it in the morning. There's plenty of time for work. I mean, people should just learn to relax. That's why Wally and I play so much tennis. Oh, tennis. Uh, tennis. Uh, there's a tennis story that... Uh... Well, uh, next to tennis, we just love sailing. Sailing. We love it, too. You do? You do much sailing? Well, only when we've had too much to drink. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, say, everybody, I heard this really funny sailing story. 
This was only the beginning of a fun-filled day and evening. Naturally, it was dominated by Mr. and Mrs. Competition. As the evening wore on, Peter and Greta wore out. In fact, eventually, so did Wally, who finally fainted after singing the entire score of the Mikado in Spanish. With Friday night ruined, Greta wasn't taking any chances with the rest of the weekend. Don't worry, Bernie. I'll be home by tomorrow night. Well, just, just tell your mother that I won't break the date again. What? I, I can't hear you. Well, tell her to stop laughing. I'll be there. All right, then. Bye. Greta, you dressed yet? Yes. It's dark in there. I couldn't see a thing. I have everything on all right? How can you be so worried about a clown like Wally? Oh, now, don't let him fool you. He knows what he's doing. In his own sneaky way, he gets results. If you say so. Well, night. Look, uh, Greta, we're two mature adult people, right? Right. And one of those two mature adult people is not going to sleep in this room. <laughs> Nighty night. Night. Now. Look, I just got to get some bicarbonate. That's all. <laughs> Did you find the bicarbonate? Oh, it must be here someplace. Boy, have I got an upset stomach. Oh, pressure, Wally, pressure. But don't worry, kid, you're doing great. You weren't bad yourself. Mrs. Brahms loved your recipes. <laughs> Just doing my part, baby. Just doing my part. Vera, I love you. I know, darling. Now, tomorrow, I'll keep Peter and Greta busy. That'll give you your chance to discuss the TV campaign with Mr. Brahms. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Good, dear. What are you doing? I want you to take a cold shower. It's good for you. Well, I'll take a shower in the morning. I'm tired, Vera. Promise? I promise. I don't want you to fall apart on me. I'll take a cold shower. I'll do the push-ups. Everything. All right. Get to bed. To quote a wise Chinese, one picture is worth a thousand words. Next day, having completed her bargain with Peter, Greta's packing to go home to keep her other bargain with Bernie at last. Peter, I thought you were fishing. Yeah. I'm supposed to be, but uh, Wally and his barracuda, they sprung their trap on me. What happened? You know, we were all standing, you know, waiting to get on the boat, and, uh... Vera asked me to move my car, and next thing I knew, there was Wally and Brahms out in the middle of the lake. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, I should have known better, especially after what I heard last night in the shower. You know, with their master plan, they could just take over the country? Well, you ought to be glad to get away from those two. Well, at least I'm glad you know about Wally and Vera, because, uh... That'll help you to understand why we... Gotta stay again tonight. Oh, no. But the TV campaign, you see, I never got a chance to talk to Greta, you know... I got no choice. We gotta stay. What about my date with Bernie? Break it. I've never broken eight dates with anyone. It'd be a record. No, I'm going. You're not going. Yes, I am. No, you're not. That's what you think. Now, dread it. Happy? Well, Peter's holding the suitcase, but poor Greta's holding the bag. Oh, uh, hello, Bernie. You guessed it. Number eight. <laughs> Ma, will you cut that out? Well, you see, uh, we're st still up in Westport, and something's happened to my brother, and Mr. Brahms thinks that we should stay a while. It's okay, Greta. Sure, I understand. Don't worry. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, 
Hello, information. Do you have a listing for a Beethoven in Westport? I mean Brahms. It's Brahms. So I figure with uh, 12 new products, we ought to go with the flavor of the month. Yeah, yeah. Yes, but for the same amount of money, we could buy spots for all 12. Oh, you could never do that. Oh, wait now, I got some figures right Dick. here. Oh, thank you, here. Uh, <laughs> now, uh, the way I figure it, Mr. Brahms... Oh, uh, Mr. Brahms, mm -hmm. uh, we haven't finished our chess game. Oh, what do you say? You're on. But, <laughs> so, Mr. Brahms, I wanted to talk to you about... Dip, oh. Peter. Vera, you mind? Sure you won't have some dip. All right, Vera, we settle this one of two ways. Either you move or I go through you. Thank you. Mr. Brahms, about those commercials. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet, Peter. They're playing chess. Oh, thank you, dear. What was that? Probably just the wind. There's something outside. That's where the wind is, Peter. Outside. <laughs> Sounds like squirrels or something. Max, I think I just saw somebody moving around outside. You did, huh? Oh, I don't think it's anything to worry about. There's not another house around here for miles. This is the most godforsaken place <laughs> I've ever seen. I wouldn't say godforsaken, darling. I'd say delightfully isolated. Maybe it's Greta. No, no, she's in the bedroom. Max, I think perhaps you better have a look. Why? It's just noise. Wally, go take a look. Huh? Well, I'll look. Oh, thank you, Peter. Wally. Right. I'll have a look. <laughs> Anyone there? There's no one there. Mrs. Kramer, I just had to call and tell you how sorry I am about tonight. Yeah. I mean, I just don't want you to feel that... Well, I really don't think it's a laughing matter. May I speak to Bernie, please? Bernie! Now, uh, never mind. Bernie! What are, you, what are you doing? No, no, you have to go out. So, this is your little love nest. What are you talking about? You can't fool me anymore. I can see it for myself. Eight broken dates, eight wanton affairs. Eight wanton affairs? Or one tragic one, eight times. What difference does it make? <laughs> Bernie, listen, uh, you, you just don't understand now. You just gotta get out of here. Hey, Greta, there's somebody prowling around out there. You'd better... So he's the one. Brother, huh? Yes, my severely troubled brother. The secret is out, Peter. Greta. You, you, you may as well know the truth, Bernie. You see, this isn't just a home. It, it's a rest home. The Brahms Sanitarium. What? Well, now, don't get excited, Peter. You see, we've tried to make him as happy as possible, but sometimes he's just uncontrollable. Aren't you, Peter? What'd you say, nurse? You see, he doesn't even recognize his own sister. Greta, now this doesn't look like a sanitarium to me. Oh, it's not supposed to. You see, it's disguised to uh, to look like a very expensive summer home. Now, I'm not leaving till I find out what's going on. Shut the can't stand noise. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, stop it. That pounding, I can't stand it. What pounding? You're blinking your eyes. Well, that's crazy. Sorry. Now, stop blinking, or it's curtains for you. Huh? Yes, he throws curtains all over you. It's terrible. Listen, Bernie, I think you better go and... Uh, be quiet. Right. See, no blinking, no noise, no nothing. Uh, Bernie, if you're wearing corduroys, walk slowly. Oh, I didn't mean that. Ooh. Stop that noise. You're lucky it wasn't a bigger noise. He could have come in the front door. I guess he was our mad prowler. What? They thought they heard a prowler. They were all scared stiff. Well, we better put their minds at ease. Let's just tell them we saw somebody run off. No, let's not. Say, what's going on? Put all your valuables on the table. What for? It's the only realistic way to deal with a burglar. Give him what he wants, and he'll leave us alone. That's right. We're all insured. And besides, compared to your life, what are a few trinkets and, and a lot of money? Good Lord, that is a lot of money. Mr. Brahms, you always carry that much money? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I think we ought to call the police. Well, they never get here in time. Scared, Wally? No, of course not. 
I can handle whoever's out there, but there might be shooting and somebody could get hurt. Oh! Come and get it. Door's open. No need of that. There's a job to be done. And I'm doing it. What'd he say? I said I'm doing it. You could get hurt out there. Yes, yes, I know. Peter, I, I didn't realize. Wally, go with him. What? All right, Wally, let's go. We're going to get whoever or whatever is out there. I suppose it could be that crazed bear who walks like a man we've heard about. Yes, yes, could be. You better say your goodbyes now. We may not be coming back. Peter, I can't let you go. Easy, woman. Ready, Wally? Uh, look, Peter, uh, why don't we hit him and wave, sir? You go first, and I'll follow you. I understand, Wally. But fear, fear is nothing to be ashamed of. I was like that once myself, when I was yellow. Peter, you crazy, wonderful fool. Give me a kiss, baby. That ought to hold you. I made all that noise screaming, but I'm in pain. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll help you, but don't blink your eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. Now get away. to say. Ah! Oh, my hand. Oh, I think it might be busted. I, uh, I hit him with everything I had. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I love pain. Uh, did, did, did he get away? Yeah, don't worry. He won't be bothering you anymore. I can't get over this. Peter, I'll never forget it. Well, he did use Wally's knife. That's right. It was my knife. If it hadn't been for oh, my knife... Oh, shut up. Peter, come on, let's get you in the house. Nice try, kids. Mrs. Brown? Peter, this is so nice of you. Well, after Saturday night, you deserved a present. Well, and you deserved an Oscar anyway. It's very sweet of well, you. Well, it's nothing. You're right. What is it? Well, it's perfume. Evening in Kansas? Well, it's the newest thing. I know. It's the thought that counts. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Brahms. Yes, I'm feeling much better, thank you. What? Say that again? You're kidding. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. What's wrong? They uh, caught the prowler. Bernie? No, there's a, uh, was an escaped convict up there. Killer. My hero. <laughs> <laughs> 